In this video, I'm going to show you how to cal uh, calibrate the VivoSun TDS and EC meter. VivoSun don't know how to do it. They've actually claimed that you don't have to do it for up to a year, and then after that, they don't tell you what you need to do. They've now come out and said that this device has an auto calibration feature, which is absolute rubbish. In the instruction booklet that comes with it, in the notes, Part 3, incorrect calibration may result in error affecting the accuracy of measurement or cause malfunctions. But they have no idea how to calibrate their own device. I've come across the solution. It's really quite simple. The TDS and EC meter is actually just an EC meter with a conversion factor of 0.5 to obtain the total dissolved solids or total dissolved salts in parts per million. It's recommended to calibrate this unit to a calibration solution of 1,413 microsiemens per centimetre. And I have some of that solution here. It was made by combining 0.7459 0.746 grams of food grade potassium chloride in one litre of demineralised or distilled water. So the calibration process is quite simple and I've tested this against a HM Digital TDS meter and I now have my two metres reading pretty much the same within 10 to 20 parts per million uh, so the calibration does work uh, it's meant to be done at 25 degrees celsius but supposedly the vivo sun unit has a built-in uh, automatic temperature adjustment capability but i'm not sure about that the vivo sun unit can only be calibrated when it is in EC mode. When you push the mode button, it changes the mode from parts per million to microsiemens per centimetre in both Celsius and Fahrenheit degrees temperature. So it has four different displays, four different modes. You can calibrate in either the microsiemens per centimetre EC mode Fahrenheit or the EC microsiemens per centimetre Celsius. But you cannot calibrate in either of the parts per million ranges. Must, calibration must be done only in EC mode. So what I'm going to do is take a small amount of my 1413 solution and pour it into a cup up to the appropriate depth so that we don't over immerse the device and place the unit into the solution. As you can see, I'm reading slightly high. The calibration uh, of these meters uh, is a little bit fiddly and it doesn't seem to stay very consistent for a very long time, but it's um, fairly close and fairly accurate once you've got it calibrated. Now, in the EC mode, to calibrate this unit, what you do is you press that mode cal button, the middle button, for around three to five seconds and hold it in. Once you've done that, the reading starts to flash. Now you press the mode cal button again with the up arrow to increase the value, either one step at a time. Wait a minute. There we go. No. So now we can go up one 
at a time or press and hold the button and it will go up continuously. When you get close, it's gone over the 1413, so you now press the down arrow button to start to go back down. Too far again. I suggest you do it in small bursts until you get close. Getting close now. Going to go in individual clicks now to get to one four one three. And there it is. Now you simply leave the unit alone. It stops flashing and it is now calibrated or it says 1412. If I now press the mode button, I should get a reading of 706 parts per million, and there it is. Easy as that. The Vivo Sun TDS and EC meter calibration mystery solved.